So right here, very basic um, replacement. And some portion, you can say it's a basic compositing. So for example, right here, I have a model and how often you photo shoot and eyes maybe blink or close it and you maybe want to replace it. So these techniques work very well for the some ar like organic type of um, like faces. So example, we'll go right there. Let's go zoom in. And what we're going to do, we want to replace these eyes with something maybe from open. I know the expression here is kind of funny, but I want to take these eyes, open eyes, for example, and replace here. Um, in real, probably I won't do this because angle of the camera is a little bit different, a little bit tilting, but as an example, we can go look how it can be done. Um, the important part for us here is having this nice blending for the eyes. So we can do this by selecting our lasso tool and go set in feathering. How much on the feathering? It depends on the size of your image. If you kind of still wondering what it can be, so let's zoom in and we can zoom in till we start seeing those pixels. So we want to select the eye, but we want to select the round. And most important with feathering for us provide it is nice smooth transitions between uh, one edge to the other in opacity. So we'll have from zero opacity to 100 opacity. So right here, um, we'll say about three, four, five, say about eight pixels. We can always can go a little bit higher. For example, let's go just set 10 pixels. So right here, we have our 10 pixels feathering. And I'm just going around eye and creating this circle. I want to include some of those wrinkles. And if we catch a little bit of this array is okay, we'll go to mask after. Control or Command C, copying. We go inside the, our image and we're going to paste. So now we can take this eye and just positioning. A couple of things I've noticed see the different in the size. So we can press Control T, hold down um, button and scale. So normally what I'm doing, I'm looking on scale. So it's approximately will be same size. This is a little bit bigger. Let's scale down. And by the way, this is a new um, Adobe Photoshop that released it which you don't need it hold down shift to make equal so it's by default it's keep it proportion and old ones you need to hold down shift so they change this which is nice and again i'm just saying uh right here proportion of the eye maybe a little bit smaller okay when we're done we'll go ahead and press enter but before i do this i want to remember these sizes it is 121 so let's go 122 it's easy to remember, so we add this eye and we position right here. So let's place this eye for now. Next, we'll go back, move it, we'll select another lasso tool, and same things, we'll just go around and select eyes. Control C, copy, and we're going to paste. Oops, actually, I don't need this one. And we'll move, but when we move, let's press Control T on our eyes, and we switch to 122. So in this case, we'll have the same positioning. Uh, okay, let's go ahead, press Enter. Okay, so right now, I'm just looking at this a little bit off, mostly these edges right here, you can see they did not match because camera, we can press another control T one more time and just slightly adjustment. Okay, I think it's look okay again for the purpose of our tutorial. Um, of course, right here we can create mask and mostly just come closer and we can see we have elements around there. We'll go to soft round brush. Let's go to 100% and maybe a 60% and just a little bit removing blending, mostly right there. Also, if you see some other areas, you maybe want clean up with mask as well. We can do this little bit. Let's go to next. 
create same new layer and we'll go just right here a little bit clean up you can see how easy we just two guys of course the positioning will be adjust this is very fast so we can just take those eyes and maybe just move them slightly adjustments But you can see at this point we have the before and after. This I just slightly had a skewed, so we want to maybe even skew a bit more up to adjust I. But overall, give you idea what it can do. And most important, again on this eyes, if you notice, come closer. This is what we kind of look for the organic, this nice smooth transition that they make them blend very well on our object again this compositing you not necessarily can do just on the eyes you can do on nose lips and other things i won't recommend to do on somewhere with like hard edge or a pant because sometimes they may be not matching as well but they work very well with the face with the skin kind of and some other elements